Chief Meteorologist Brian Hale standing by. And Brian, we've talked about it before. That is a common problem where people get hit with a storm and think, well, we won't get hit with another one after that. Well, we certainly hope that wouldn't happen to the Rio Grande Valley. I mean, in 2004, there was a very close proximity where two storms came near each other in Florida in one season. But we're going to go ahead and break this down for you so that you don't get too uh, anxious about this tropical scenario, but that you also remain ready to go and up to speed. The tropical update, that's what it's all about. Instead of twins, we have triplets. We have um, stripped the clouds away here. We have Invest 99 off the coast of Africa. We have Invest 98 out there in the south central Atlantic. And we also have Invest 97 on in toward the Caribbean. So each of these uh, colored blobs represents the five-day forecast from the National Hurricane Center. So 99 is not an issue yet. 98 heading toward the Windward Islands. We'll examine it a little more closely. 97, though, heading toward the Yucatan Peninsula. That's a concern. That's something we're going to keep in mind. Watch the forecast solutions. The computer is spitting out all the different possibilities here. And you can see that we've got some going on up toward the southeast Texas coast, some toward Louisiana, some toward the Florida Panhandle, and some doing that Veracruiser thing, heading toward Veracruz eventually. So, yeah, there's a lot of real estate between the Florida Panhandle and Veracruz. So that's something that, uh, oh, again, we're just going to have to watch over the next couple of days to see how the forecast pans out. 98 over there in the South Central Atlantic is going to continue its march over the next several days, pushing on in through the Florida Straits, more than likely, or over Cuba, and then heading into the Eastern Gulf. And a lot of meteorologists scratching their heads wondering or trying to remember the last time there were two uh, hurricanes in the Gulf of Mexico at the same time. Uh, tracking the tropics, great way for you to get up to speed on what's going on with the tropics on valleycentral.com click weather then click track in the tropics it is our live stream posted on our website there it comes out wednesdays at one o'clock but again we leave it posted for you and more updates as things threaten the united states so there'll be more updates in just weekly now the radar shows as of late the thunderstorms coming down from the north that's brooks county and then you have jim hogg county and kennedy county that stuff that's been sagging south has been dying quickly and what's coming down south through star county as well zoom on in here you have lynn then you have Raymondville behind me here. Now you can see as it moves on closer to the Rio Grande Valley, it starts to die down pretty significantly. Our atmosphere is not ready to support any wide-ranging <laughs> thunderstorm activity, but it is at least enough to support some pips and pops, rain and rumbles here and there. And that's pretty much what all this is as it moves to the south. Futurecast high-res version shows it moving on down and on primarily through the mid to upper valley, and as it does, just continuing to die away. So again, you might get a shower. Edinburgh you might hear some rumbles Roma that's the way it's gonna work out tonight overnight anything dying off by 10 p.m. 76 degrees overnight mm, tomorrow check it out we're right back near 100 degrees again hot and humid Futurecast tells us that we're gonna be looking at the south to southeast breezes hot and humid on through tomorrow and then the following day we're just sort of in a holding pattern now, waiting for the tropics to unfold. Tomorrow, yeah, 104 for Roma, heat index 101 to 105, and uh, Harlingen 99, much the same on the heat index, and it's going to feel that way all the way on through the forecast, that 99 feeling like 105, and the opportunity for rain increasing day after day. Don't forget to check the back seat, folks. Stay hydrated. Make sure the pets have shade and water as well. And again, that chance for rain could increase early next week, depending on how much tropical moisture is pushed our way. But we also have to remember that if the tropical situation, well, like let's say 97 ends up in the central Gulf, we're going to be just hot and sunny. So that rain could go either way. And that's a look at your forecast.